What's up here tonight, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here, just making another uh, late night video. This one is uh, as it pertains to the Eagles right now, going into this Packers game on Monday night football, and kind of the implications that Thanksgiving Thursday's games gave us for the potential of a wild card spot. And let's face it here, guys, the Eagles aren't going to win this division. Dallas is unstoppable at this point. Um, they remind me of the Panthers of last year where um, they might lose maybe one more game and that's that's about it. I'm just glad they've already lost so we don't have to think about the dreaded undefeated season for Dallas. Um, and whoever plays them in the Super Bowl, if that's what it gets to, I mean I hope to goodness that they don't win a Super Bowl because that would be very hard for me and I'm sure a lot of Philadelphia fans to to stomach but anyway it is what it is at this point so we got to look at what we got the Eagles sit at five and five right now and we're playing the Packers at Philly which this is a very winnable game guys I'm not gonna lie um, the Packers do not look very good this year at all they look like a shell of their former selves um, I would be surprised if we lost this game, to be honest. We would have to really um, make a ton of mistakes, which is possible. and Or the Packers would have to just wake up and win, you know, just come in and put up 40 points on us. Just melt our defense, which I don't see that happening. So overall, I think that's a win, and this is going to put us at 6-5. and five. After this, I think we play the Bengals. It's either the, we have the Bengals, then we have Washington, I believe, then we have the Ravens, and then we have New York and Dallas to close out the game. Now, or the season, sorry. Now the good thing is, um, all of these division games remaining are at home. Um, it doesn't really matter about Dallas, like I said, but we could still we still have our destiny in our own hands guys is what I'm saying here and if the Vikings keep continuing to lose like they did on um, Thursday then it's just gonna keep giving us a better draft pick overall so in this case it's gonna help us with the draft pick and it helped us with the wild card so double double because it looks like the Lions are gonna win that division um, it's it's pretty clear at this point but we'll see we still got some football to be played here um, but yeah, as I see it, guys, um, the Eagles going in to this game, I think we'll win it. Um, I was reading some reports that Nelson Aguilar is going through some kind of mental counseling. They're trying to figure out what his deal is. Personally, guys, if it was up to me, I would just bench him. I'm not saying I'd cut him um, if he's willing to go through this counseling, but I would definitely bench this guy. Maybe put him on the practice squad and let him earn his spot back. Um, it's time to give Paul Turner a chance. I've been saying this from day one. Bryce Treggs hasn't been doing much, but keep letting him go. He at least is creating separation. If anything, he can be that guy that just runs the route in the backfield to create that separation, cause guys to double cover him, similar to how Deshaun Jackson was. Um, if that's all he is, then that's fine, because it's going to open up guys like Jordan Matthews. It's going to give Zach Ertz opportunities to run um, inside routes. It'll give guys like, um, hopefully, Paul Turner when he actually starts playing. Um, that's another thing. Let me get to Paul Turner real quick. They're actually saying that he is coming. Now, Doug Peterson won't commit to him playing, but he's going to be dressed is what they're saying. And I just think that he's saying that he's not going to play so that the other teams don't know. I think it's a strategy thing. So I think we're definitely going to see Paul Turner this week, guys, and I can't wait if this guy really is as good as he was in preseason. Um, I made a previous video after preseason it's basically saying why would you why would you cut Nelson or not Nelson, why would you cut Paul Turner? And then I found out they put him on the practice squad, but still, why is he not starting on the team? Especially given our wide receiver core. I mean I would bring Riley Cooper back at this point. That's how bad it's getting guys. It's just pathetic. I mean I just can't, I'm still in awe that they're this bad. I mean, the fundamentals of football, just can't do it, but. Um, anyway, guys, I really do think that we need this win for one, and I think that we will get it. 
Uh, like I said, the wide receivers will be a little different this time. Um, I'd like to see us run the ball more as well. Um, the injury side from the Seattle game does not look good, unfortunately. It looks like Darren Sproles is possibly going to be out. Baitai is definitely out, they're saying, which is very unfortunate. Um, we won't get Lane Johnson back till like week 14, something like that. Um, so we're just going to have to see what happens here, guys. Um, Carson Wentz is still the man. We'll see what he can do with this, this shoddy offense on Monday against the Packers. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is going to be a win for the Eagles? Do you think the Packers are, are a better team than this year than, than we've all thought? Maybe they're a sleeper team. Whatever you guys think, leave your comments below. Like, subscribe my stuff. Check out my other videos if you're an Eagles fan. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a good one.